Okay, so you're gonna start doing webinars. Congratulations. But then you think about it. Uh, I gotta figure out the software. Which one do I pick? So I'm gonna go through a series of different webinar software um, programs or applications and show you exactly how to use them and help you walk through the decision that you need to pick the right one. So the first one I'm gonna start with is called Webinar Jam. So Webinar Jam is actually one of my favorite ones because it actually does everything all in one. And with the new version, you have everything that you need for webinars, um, ever webinars are the ones where you don't have to be live, live streams, all of those features. So I'm gonna take you step by step through the application and tell you what I think is amazing and tell you what I think may trip you up if you're not a techie person. But here's my thing about Webinar Jam. If you don't have landing pages set up and mailing lists and an auto responder, or if that's something that's new to you, like you don't know kind of the standard of what to say before someone starts, um, you as soon as someone signs up for your webinar, when it's about to start and then after, Webinar Jam is where to start because you don't have to figure out kind of what the standard is. You it, Everything's just kind of plug and play. Now, if you already have that knowledge of what to say, how to remind people, you already have landing pages, you already have mailing lists, you may want to do webinar or you may want to do some other ones. I'm going to go through the app and I'm going to let you decide for yourself. Here's the thing. I've included my link below and it is an affiliate link. What that does is if you do purchase, what happens is I get a little bit of that, right? A little credit, but I little, get a little um, bit of the funds. But this is what happens when you do that. It helps me create more videos like this for the channel for free. So if you do decide to go with Webinar Jam, go ahead and click here um, below, right? I will include links to other applications that I'm gonna be reviewing so you know other um, items. There are free applications, there's low cost, there's higher cost, and again, I'll tell you in each case um, what I think about the app, okay? Before we get started, my name is Socially Nina, so if you're new here, I would suggest you subscribe, but only if you want to. No pressure, no pressure. But um, what I do is I help you kind of overcome the tech. I know that a lot of people are geniuses in their field, but when it comes to tech or social media or marketing, they're just like, I am over it. So what I do is I create step-by-step -step tutorials for beginners and intermediate, intermediate learners who just don't wanna deal with it. I also help you evaluate software so you can figure out which one is right for you. So. I create a lot of content, I do a lot of videos, I do video creation camps, all the information will be below, but just like and subscribe if you like this and come back for more. Let's go. Okay, so the goal of this training is to go through setting up your webinar jam. I'm not gonna spend too much time going over all of the features. You can actually watch the demo um, and actually go through, I really suggest you go through and read this page. It's long, it's a sales page but it gives you a lot of information about what's available. I'm just gonna be pointing these out as I set it up. There's a lot of new features that I've heard about, but I have not actually looked into because I haven't been doing webinars lately. But let me go ahead and go all the way down to the bottom. At the top right, you're gonna click on plans and pricing, and you'll see the price. For most of us, this is enough, the basic $4.99 a year, right? Um, but one of the things that they've been done is they've included some of the things, some of the features that we need, like um, ever webinar, uh, like um, sorry, consistent webinars and some other features. Again, I'm not going to go through all of the features of each one, but um, I wanted to make sure you knew that they've included a lot more than what they used to. If you've looked at this before, now here's the trick: if I start and then I start to go away from the page, so say I go up here and I'm getting ready to click out. Let's see if it does it for me. So I'm going over. There will be a pop-up that says try it for 14 days. So I can actually, let's go ahead and get started and then cancel. I'm waiting for it to come up. At one point, it will give me a 14-day, there it is. So when I go up here to exit out of the tab, it says, wait, don't leave. This is what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and do the trial. 14 days, here's a Okay, so it's gonna redirect me after I've put in my payment information, it will be $1. Now here's the thing, once you're going through, they are going to ask you for additional items that you can add to your cart. So here's the automated webinar, right? And you can add it to your cart. Here's the price, 
I'm going to say, no, I don't want to. Okay, look for these emails. You cannot start until you get these emails, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead. This is also for Kartra. Um, I do have three videos on Kartra. If you need videos on Kartra, let me know. Um, but you can add um, Kartra and actually try that out for 30 days. Kartra is um, a competitor of like lead pages and Entreport and things like that. So um, I'm going to go down to the bottom and tell you there's a couple. And actually go through these. Again, I'm going to skip through these. But there's bonus packs that you can get that help you with a lot of stuff. Don't get overwhelmed. These are the things that I suggest you do. I would suggest that you, if you want to try out Kartra, 30 days, I would do that here. Um, they have Q&A on Wednesdays, and um, those are webinars. And then also, um, I would say go to their Facebook group. One of the things I can say about Genesis is um, our webinar jam, um, Kartra, their communities are really good, and they have a lot of support. The people in those groups are very helpful. So some um, groups aren't as helpful or they're really competitive. You'll find a lot of people who do um, custom work for either webinars, Kartra, all that kind of stuff. So get into their community. Then check your email. Okay, so that email basically gives you your login information as well as your password, except everything. And notice this is green and unlocked. This is what I have. This is what I do not have. All right. The first thing that I would do here is go to your profile and just make sure all of the information is correct and also update your password because remember, they gave you your password. The next thing I would do is update your folder. I'm not folder. I'm sorry, your photo. Okay. And so I double clicked on a photo and I'm just kind of making sure my picture gets in the middle. There you go. This will help when you're setting up your landing pages. This isn't the right picture. I just picked a picture. Um, but you want one that shows your face a little fuller. But I just picked one that was available. You can also um, set up your settings. So a couple of things about this. For most of us, you do want um, to abide by the GDPR compliant rules. I'm not going to help you make a decision on this because it depends on where you live. But there's a couple of things. Like if someone signs up for your webinars in order to um, send them email future communications, you have to have them say yes, right? Same thing. Um, you have to have them um, um, accept your terms and an agreement. So basically, there's certain laws that have been put into place. So you want to make sure and go through this. Um, I basically just make sure everything's on except for automatically deleting leads. You don't need to delete my, my leads, right? Then there's billing and then there's integration. So, and actually, I hope that saves. Um, let me check something real quick. All right, so this is something I should have told you when I first started. Um, Webinar Jam slash Genesis, which is the company, um, they're all wizard based. So if you're new and you're going through setting up, it's great, but you can't get frustrated because you do have to save at every step. So I did have to come back and reset this. So make sure that as you're going through, so let's see. So yeah, I have to redo this. That's the only thing that kind of gets on my nerves um, is their kind of wizard-based stuff and having to say, like, remind me, right? All right, so I went through each of the screens. Okay, so here's what I want to talk to you about. Integration. So if you have something like Entreport, um, Kartra, Infusionsoft, any of these, you're going to want to integrate it. So I have, um, fortunately, I'm paying for both for now, but I have both Kartra and Entreport. Um, so I would integrate it. Um, I'm not going to go through those steps. Everybody has something else. I do have some videos on how to integrate with Active Campaign on my channel. If you need one of these specifically, please let me know, and I may create a video for you. Um, but for the most part, if you do have Kartra, and usually most of these, once you click on it, you're literally just going to put in your API key and your app ID. Usually in applications, you can find this under Advanced Settings, Account Settings or anything that says like developer or integration. Um, when in doubt, just go and Google um, Webinar Jam and and then whatever the app is, let's say Entreport, and then the word integration, and usually you can find instructions or step-by-step -step, um, guides. Okay, so I connected mine to Entreport for now. Um, just to let you know your API key and your app key IDs are, excuse me, API key and your app IDs 
are like passwords. So never, ever, ever share those with anyone. All right. So again, I want to make sure you know that at the top, you have your community. So that's the Facebook community that you can join and then any of the support that you need. If I ever have an urgent issue, I will submit a ticket and then I will tweet them. They're really good at getting back to you in Twitter and then checking the ticket. All right, I'm gonna click on access and let's get started. So again, I've used the old part, the old uh, webinar jam. This is the newer one. So I'm gonna go through the, this for the first time with you as well. So here's a little sidebar walkthrough. I'm gonna ignore it and keep on going. <laughs> And I would suggest you go through this, but I'm just going to kind of play around with this. Let's get started. So on your left hand side, of course, there's home, which goes back to where you were. Then there's my webinars, which is what we're going to do today. My analytics. So one of the things I love about Webinar Gem is they have really good analytics and you can pick certain session, set sessions and you can see not only who attended, but how long they stayed, when they dropped off. You can tag them. So you can say anyone who stayed past 45 minutes, maybe your offer was at 30 um, minutes, then you can send them specific emails, right? You could also see who registered. So let's go to my webinars and start to add a new webinar. Okay, express configuration. If you're new, you can start there and it's just gonna go through and kind of set it up with the template and it's really good, really easy. And you can actually, I, I would say if you're overwhelmed by tech, just do that. We're gonna go through the full configuration so you can understand all of the settings. Now remember, this is a wizard. So you're gonna go step by step by step, okay? All right, so we don't have um, the silver or gold membership, which means you have an always on room, or like I said, what we used to call it as a um, war room. So if we had like a room that needed to be open 24 hours where people could come in and um, use the online session and people jump in and jump out. So maybe you're doing an all day kind of like teleconference or something. I don't know. Um, you can schedule it for right now or for later. We're going to go ahead and schedule a fake webinar for our fake company. I've been working um, on YouTube, um, creating graphics for this fake company called Cotton Candy Martini Bar. So we're going to use that today as well. All right. So here are your sections, the webinar settings your registration setting, so how people sign up and get notified. This is like the part about Webinar Jam that I absolutely love that you don't see in most other um, apps. All the stuff that you're configuring, so when you go live um, and you're gonna wanna test it in advance and then post webinar. So after, what happens, how long the replays are, all of that. One of the things I want to mention to you is um, some people have um, told me that they've had um, issues when they start or tech issues. Here's the thing. I would set everything up and then what I would do is open a new incognito window when you actually test and then when you actually do your training, I would do that also because if you're having tech issues, what I found is usually your add-ins for your Chrome bar. Now, I'm not going to, I know this isn't the part to really talk about that, but I want to say it a couple times um, to make sure you get that and when we go live, I'll actually go through that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and go to next. Um, and this is gonna walk you through, so we're just gonna click on okay. All right, so we're gonna go through all of those steps. Basic settings. What you're gonna look for as you go through this, this wizard is you want everything to turn green before you go, go forward. All right, so what's gonna happen is you have the opportunity to actually, um, you have the opportunity to actually post this in the on, excuse me, the on-demand section of Webinar Jam. So it's like advertising for you. Um, I don't know that I've gotten any registers from that, but you know, I'm sure a lot of people do. The reason why I'm saying that is you're gonna wanna create a webinar thumbnail. Notice that it has the dimensions here. Um, I'll probably record a separate video showing you how to create that. But this is also what's gonna show up when you share it on social media. So you don't wanna put too much text because if you have a thumbnail that has too much text and you try to boost it on Facebook or something like that, it's going to lower your views. So you may want to keep it down to just the image. I'm just going to put, um, grab a nice image. And actually, to make this quick, I'm just going to use my own picture that I have here. What I would do is use stock images. If you have like Adobe um, stock or um, any kind of stock images, I um, have a couple different recommendations. I'll put them down below as far as how you can get stock images. But um, 
just go there or go to Pixabay, which is um, free. Let's see. This might be too large. Let's see. I'm just going to pick something. If not, I may have to just quickly resize it. Okay. We're not going to wear it yet. It file exceeds. So it has to be at least um, one megabyte or less. So I'm just going to grab another image. Give me one second. Okay, so you're going to want to make sure that your um, dimensions are 330 by 220. I went into Canva and I created an, uh, um, a thumbnail. Okay. And so I do have the link to the video below once I post that, or I will have the link. It's not posted yet, but I created a video on how you create these thumbnails. But basically, you don't want too much text, right? You want it less than 20%, but you do want to be able to see it fairly quickly and easily when you share it on social media. Most people will be looking from their phone. So this is called Cheers. It's our monthly Mixer webinar for VIP members. I'm making this up. But if you have a restaurant, this is a great idea. We teach our members how to make mixed drinks every month. Okay. So webinar title. So the name, just the FYI, this one's private, internal. So actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to move this down here. Here, I would really name these in ways of things that you would search for. So the way you work. So I would say, um, what is this called? Um, IP member webinars, and this month is March 2020, right? However you want to organize it, okay? Or and actually, let's make this a series, maybe. I would put a full description. All right, so I would do that, and then the language, and then also, again, this is where it will show on um, Webinar Jam list of um, to their customers, so they can actually look. And then you're going to want to pick a directory. And so in the directory, I would put this under food. Let's see what they have. Home and gardening, cooking and food. There we go. Presenters, I'm going to go ahead and click this. And since I have my image up, I am here, right? It has my email. It's the webinar host presenter. But I can actually change this. Um, so maybe instead of Nina, I want to put socially Nina, right? And you can also add a moderator. Let's, and then you could make them your moderator. And they have different access. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in here. Your moderator can assist you with managing and moderating events. In fact, so if you have questions and things like that, but they won't be able to control the panel, which is it's another part of um, your, um, your live webinar. We'll get to that a little bit later. So I'm going to press confirm. This is the important thing. You have to confirm each step. That's the wizard thing I'm talking about. This is where you connect it and you use either YouTube to broadcast or you use Webinar Jam. For now, I would just use Webinar Jam. If you use, if you have a lot of lives and you want this, the back end to be on YouTube, there's some steps that you can use. I would just use Webinar Jam for now. In order to save or go to the next step, you have to confirm each one and click on next. Okay. Again, this is a wizard. So notice I cannot click around. You have to go next through next through next. I'm going to go ahead and make this a series. So if I know I'm going to do this for my VIP guests every month, I can say, let's do it the first Monday. Um, so let's do every, let's say every week for now. So let's say every Monday at 12 p.m. Okay, and we could do it forever, or let's just say we have 12 sessions, right? And I'm Eastern time. If you want to add a new series, so maybe you have one at 12, one at three, one at seven, you can do that. But I'm going to go ahead and confirm. Okay, and then click on next. Now, registration. You might look at this and think, oh, good, everything's done. And it is, but you want to customize this. So go ahead and go in. Notice it's using the default template. What I would do is go ahead and look through these templates and find the one that is best for you. Now, if you want to do split testing, split testing allows you to have two different 
pages and it will go back and forth between showing different vis visitors different pages. And then after a while, it will take that data and see um, which one is performing better. So when someone lands on your page and if someone always signs up when they see the first page, but the second page, not as many people sign up, then it is, you'll be able to decide that um, the first page works better for sign up. I don't usually use this, but again, you can if you want. I want I want something that's a little more interesting. So let's pick this one. Um, so you can preview each one here. Notice it has countdowns, which are great. The date, times, all of that. You can have videos. I'm going to go ahead and customize this one. All right, I love these big screens. So in the back, what I want to do is I am going to edit the photo. Notice there's blue lines around that. And let me go back so you can see when I click on something that I'm editing, you'll see the blue lines in the background. So you can change it to a solid color or just upload an image. I'm just going to upload a pink martini glass, right? That doesn't really look right there, but we're going to leave that. And I can change this image, which is the image on top. You may want to put your presenter there, but I'm going to go ahead and put, let's just put this. Okay. And notice that it's way down here, so it does not look right. So that's not going to be an image that I want to use. I don't know what, let's just see. Okay. I don't really have an appropriate picture to put there that will work. So I'm just going to reset this. So it's going to go back to default and I'm just going to change the background. Let's just do that. Okay, and we'll leave her up there. All right, so you can go through, you can actually delete this if you want, um, but I would leave kind of how it is. What's great is it's going to pull in the name that you already have. And then what you can do is edit anything. Free webinar. Let's say Edit for VIP members. Or now I can highlight this and I can change different items here, including the colors. That doesn't look right. I can make them bold. Oops, let's say this. Let's just do this. Now you don't have a lot of freedom with design here. So you're gonna to wanna to use fonts and sizes to make, um, there you go, to make things look a little bit different. Um, maybe some color. So you can just kind of play around with this a little bit. And um, let's do that. There you go. Um, and I would make that a little bit bigger, but let's keep on going. Then you're going to want to update the information here. Okay, so I just kind of made up something. And then here, you're not going to be able to change these. These are going to um, lead back to privacy policy, policies and things like that. This is going to be actually pulled from all of the settings that you did during the wizard. So you actually don't have to do anything else here besides just change the text and update some of the images. But you can, if you like, go to the right-hand side and change the colors. So this is where your brand colors are going to come in. And I'm going to pull mine up. And actually, I have it on my desktop for my fake company. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 9505.81, right? And I'm going to kind of play with these. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and save and exit. Confirm. And then the next thing you're going to do is put whatever information um, that you want to collect when they register on that form. So what I'm going to do is add the phone number. You're going to want to um, decide if it's mandatory. I wouldn't make the phone number mandatory, but that will allow you to text them. Um, you can also let me just do something. There we go. You can give them the ability to auto register for upcoming webinars, which is great. So if you have this series or other series, it will automatically register them. They don't have to register each time just in case they miss an invitation. 
And then this is where you set whether it is free or paid. So if it is a paid fee, what you're gonna do is go into PayPal and you're gonna set up um, this information. Um, this is where you're gonna go to, you, you just wanna go ahead and go through the wizard again. You could look through how to set that up. I don't do um, paid webinars, but that's a great way to get started in charging for your courses here. Um, and then you can decide if you're gonna password protect it. For me, it causes too much problems and I get emails that people can't find their password or they're not looking in their email. So I'd be careful about that, but you may have a different password for each one um, for your members, just in case members jump at, in and out, that's up to you. All right, so I have emails that are gonna be sent out automatically. Now I want mine to be set up, sent out through Webinar Jam. If you're extra, um, if you're extra techie, you can integrate it with your own email system. This is where you really want to pay attention here is to your reminder notification. So this is the part of Webinar Jam that I love. You have to send your the people who register confirmation, reminders, or another reminder, another reminder but they already have the email template set up. The fields are already in there and you can organize this. So here's the immediate one. So it's telling you before, so pre and then post. But you can also add things, um, um, add additional ones. So let's look at what they have, your confirmation. If you'd like, you can leave this as is. As soon as they register, it's their confirmation. This is their webinar link. And this is all of the fields. These are the fields that are going to fill in based on the information that you've created. Okay. Now here, what you'll notice is these are additional fields that you can use. You could also send a text message to yourself. I would do that to see how it looks. But here's where I would get crafty. Add your own twist on here. Um, use your own language. Maybe put an emoji here. But this is where you kind of um, be yourself. But if you'd like, you could leave it as is. And I might want to actually um, customize that a little bit more by adding additional reminders. So this one is sent 24 hours before. Usually you send one 24 hours, maybe eight hours, an hour, 45 minutes and 15 minutes, right? People get busy. But what you can do, is just edit things, right? Um, and you can add different items here. Notice you can have, you can add text in here. You could add images, additional links, change the colors. There are more colors down there, so you can actually use your brand colors in here. But again, I would go in and add a couple of additional reminders. But what I love about this is that I don't actually have to write anything if I don't want to. I can just go ahead and add them and they'll automatically um, send out, but I would, you know, customize those a little bit. If you like, what you can do is add SMSs. Now, remember, that's only going to be, be for those who added their phone number in there. Now, when you do this, one of the things that you're going to need to do is set up your SMS integrations. Now, I use Entreport that has it in there, but if you're using, like, um, if, you're, if you don't have Entreport, you have something else that doesn't have text messages, what you would do is go to one of these companies, set it up, and you could actually integrate, again, with your API key and your sender email, um, and each one is a little bit different. But you can use any of these. Basically, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to purchase um, a phone number or set up a phone number and um, use that for text messaging. This is great because you can send that out a couple minutes before or when you actually start. Now, I would also send out one, let's say one hour after what webinar. And here's where you can really customize it. Now, Webinar Jam takes a lot of details while the webinar is going on. And so what you'll notice is you can see those send a message to those who attended, who did not attend, who ordered the product. Remember, I mentioned in the beginning, you can track who actually orders your product, who didn't, all of this, who attended but left before the pitch, so this is where you really could get down and dirty. This is kind of like building on an email funnel. So a lot of people um, use this for follow-up email, right? So let me give you a scenario. You have someone that um, signed up and attended but left early. You could send them an email saying, hey, you missed the best part. 
one, here's the replay. And then you can send them another one saying, here's the replay and the offer. Then another one, you know, another 24 hours, the replay is going to be gone. That's one kind of funnel that you could send. Then you have the people that attended and may not have purchased. And you can say, you know, hey, here's the replay. Um, And you could send them a couple series of emails, ask them to go to the replay, or you can ask them, you know, hey, did you miss something? Do you have any questions? Those who purchased, you can send your own kind of list of things to them. So there's just a lot of things you can do in here. I'm going to leave it as is. But again, even if you don't have an external mail system or autoresponder, this is the part of Webinar Jam that kind of pays for itself because everything is there. What I would do, on the other hand, is under integrations, I would integrate this with my mail system so I can track everything in there. So if you already have an autoresponder, MailChimp, Active Campaign, Entreport, Kartra, I would do most of this in there so all of your data is accurate about your contacts. Okay, so I'm going to click on Configure. I have my Entreport. Now, now this is where you can get down and dirty again. If they attend, if they don't attend, and then you can add them to your list or your tag, and then that can trigger your own internal email system and what you're going to send them. I'm going to leave this here. Again, for me, the, best, the reason why I would do it outside of this system is because I can track all my numbers and all um, in my actual autoresponder and CRM, customer relationship management system. Um, and then also, it's just a series that I can reuse, no matter whether it's here in Webinar Jam or somewhere else. Third-party tracking system. If you are using pixels from um, Facebook or any kind of tracking from Pinterest, Twitter, uh, Google, any kind of ads that you have to put some code in, put it here. Now, um, in one of these fields, I would look at the how-to guide because these are getting a lot more complicated nowadays. I'm not going to go through this, but just know that there's different tracking that you can say. So if you do a Facebook ad, you can track how many people land on the page versus convert versus actually come to the room, but it's really, really detailed. And what I love about this is later on, what I found out is even when I didn't have a lot of people showing up, I only had say 20 or 30 people showing up for the webinar, I got more sales on the replays. People would show up, tons of people would show up for the replays and that's where I would get um, my money. So when you're thinking, man, it didn't work, on that second and third day of the replays, um, that's when people are starting to actually purchase when they watch the replay. Okay, the next thing that you can do is add a survey. You can actually have this um, um, set up before the webinar or after. I'm going to go ahead and say, um, what? Your favorite, your favorite. Okay, and I'll put that there. And you can add additional questions. Make sure, and there's something I'm missing. Oh. Okay, there we go. I'm going to confirm that. And then the thank you page. Okay, so remember we had our default, um, or we customized our registration page when people sign up. But when people sign up, the next page they see is a thank you page. So this is where you can give them additional information. I am just going to, I'll leave the default here, but this is one of the things that you might do is add something that says join our group or invite a friend or something like that. All right, we're almost done, you guys. Stay with me, okay? So this is just for the setup again. So if you go to template, this is how the the room is designed. This is something new and I really like it. So you can set up how it's gonna look um, within the room when people join and you could have a darker or lighter background. Um, sometimes not having such a bright background if you're gonna have people um, there might work. You might wanna pick your brand colors. I'm just gonna preview and confirm. Polls and quizzes, you can add a poll. I don't know, I'm just making this up.
And then this is where you configure your product, okay? So maybe this is, all right, I went ahead and just filled in everything in. So here's where I, um, this goes here, right? So this is, you see, premium mixer boxes sent to your home. I like this company that I'm building, by the way. So anyways, the text above here says limited offer, sign up now. I'm actually able to change whatever I like there. This is the link to purchase. This is um, each time someone sale um, purchases, um, it's actually showing social proof. So it'll pop up and um, show when people purchase. You can say we only have 20 units, so it will go down each time. And you can also apply, remember scarcity and urgency help people purchase. So you actually can set all of that there. Okay, so I'm gonna confirm you could add multiple offers. And then if you have a promo video for this, I don't have any, but um, you can actually put a URL. And actually, let's do this. Let's pull something from you. All right, I added the video link, and we'll see that in the room. And then I can add any handouts, any slide presentations, all ahead of time. Okay, I am going to, and let me just show you. Um, one thing about this is you can actually come into the room and then click it. And so if you have an automatic presentation that you want to run, it will run within um, that box. So I usually actually just show my screen, but it's up to you. This is the next thing. Again, almost done, you guys. We're all on the replays. You want to say whether um, you are recording the replay or not. I record all my replays. Um, and what this does is it allows you to set exactly what happens when people come into the replay. So you can say people have access to a certain, until a certain time, you'll see that in an expiration date. But here, um, what do you want them to replay? So if you, if they didn't show up live, do they see the exact same video that happened on that day that they registered for the live video? They just see exactly what that is. Or do you have a custom or polished video that you want to upload or actually add the um, URL to? Um, so maybe you have one that's more polished and, you know, you don't want the exact um, replay or you can direct them to an external URL. I usually just have them replay the original. And then this is where you set the expiration. I'm going to set it to 72 hours. You can actually select a date, but I'm going to go ahead and select it. Not a date. I'm sorry. Um, different hours. But usually I make them available for up to three days. Okay. And then on the replays. Do you want people to be able to ask questions? I will always say yes here because the money is in the follow-up, right? So if they have questions, it will be emailed to you. All right, ta-da, we finished. So we have our full webinar. This is where you would run your test and you would get your link. So let me just show you a couple of things. If I go to your link, there are different links. This is the registration page for your attendees. I would create a pretty link or bit.ly link. I have videos on my channel on how to do that, but it basically makes the URL look, look a lot more pretty, right? And then um, this is for them to register. This is where you put it on your website. So if you want to um, have that page just kind of embedded on a page on your website, this is a direct link to the live room. You only need this if, like, say, you start it and people are saying, I can't get in or my links aren't working. You actually direct them directly to the room. But I, again, you and actually, it's, I think it says it here. It's best used only on special occasions because you want people to actually go through the links. You want all of your data there. Okay. Your presenter. This is your live room, right? As the presenter, you could send it to yourself, but you already received this. Um, this is something that they separate it now, but usually there's a control panel. Um, and then your moderators, they're going to get um, this, their own kind of live room information, okay? After you actually do your webinar, there is going to be a replay here. So this replay, um, you'll have the links here, and you'll have the option to download, as well as the chat log and any survey results. So everything you do in that webinar is right here. You always come back to my webinar, and then you'll also have my analytics. Once you have, once it actually, um, once you actually go through your webinar, you'll be able to see how many people registered, 
um, just all kinds of like traffic information, engagement, how many sales. It's just really great information. Okay. We're going to stop there. Um, again, one of the things I love about Webinar Jam is it is an all in one system. The things I do not really care for is the wizard based setup and the fact that you have to purchase this like one year long um, membership to this. However, when you break down the price by month, it is cheaper than some of the other competitors. So my question to you is, what do you feel about Webinar Jam? Do you like it so far? Do you want me to do a follow up video on how to run a webinar? If so, leave your questions below, but we will move on to the next software that we're going to use to compare webinars.